Welcome to the demonstration on encrypting and decrypting the log files. Data Exchange enables you to encrypt the log files of the data exchange components to ensure the security of sensitive information. You can enable this feature through the at-rest encryption settings in the DEMS security profile page. If you enable the encryption settings for a data exchange component, the log files of that component will be encrypted. Once the log files are encrypted, only an authorized user can decrypt and view the log files, thereby increasing data security. Let's see how you can enable the encryption settings for the data exchange components in DEMS. Go to the security profile page and select the at rest encryption tab. The built-in profile does not have encryption enabled. To check this, click the view details icon. You can see that the encryption is not enabled. Let's create a new profile by clicking Create. Enter the name and description for the profile. Turn on the Enable Encryption toggle. The encryption master key gets generated and you can view its timestamp. Select the data exchange components for which you want to enable the log encryption and click Next. Select a certificate to ensure the master key in the DEMS database. Please note that if DEMS and the data exchange components are installed on different machines, ensure that the selected certificate is also installed on the machine where the components are installed. Also ensure that the certificate you select allows data on the disk to be encrypted. Select a certificate. This certificate allows the data on the disk to be encrypted. You can check this in the Manage Certificate page. This security certificate, along with the master key, is used to encrypt and decrypt the log files. Click OK to create the profile. You can see that the security profile is created successfully. Now let's go to the Environment page and associate this security profile with the desired environment. Here we are using the production environment, so let's select this and click Edit. From the at -rest encryption profiles list, select the newly created profile and click Save. This enables the log encryption for the selected data exchange components associated with the environment. Ensure to restart the administrative service for the changes to take effect. Hereafter, any activities recorded in the files will be encrypted. After enabling the log encryption in DEMS, please ensure that if the DDWGY, DDW service, administrative service, or SQL service service is open or in running state, ensure to restart these components for the new logs to be encrypted. Before enabling the log encryption in DEMS, you must stop the BDT or the CDT for the new runtime service logs to be encrypted. Hereafter, any activities recorded in the files will be encrypted. You can also decrypt and encrypted log files by using the Data Exchange Log Utility, which is a Windows application. Each Windows component of Data Exchange contains this log utility, which can be used to decrypt the log files of any DE component. Let's see how to use the Data Exchange Log Utility to decrypt a log file. Before moving on to the decryption process, you must ensure that you have the privilege to decrypt the log files. Only a user with the privilege is able to perform the decryption of the encrypted log files. Let's see if we have the privilege to decrypt the log files. Open DEMS and navigate to the Manage Role page. Select the role that is associated to your environment. Click the View Details icon to see if the privilege to access the log utility is assigned. You can see that the privilege to access the log utility is not assigned. Let's edit the role to provide the privilege. Click Edit. Select Log Utility, then select the components for which you want to allow the log decryption. Click Save to save the changes made. You can see that the role is now updated and it has the privilege to decrypt the log files. 
Now, when you have the privilege to decrypt the encrypted log files, let's see how to decrypt the log files. First, let's confirm that the log files are encrypted. Open the log file. You can see that the file is encrypted. Now, let's see how to decrypt the log files using the data exchange log utility. Navigate to the log utility folder of the desired component and double click the data exchange log utility exe file. This is the data exchange log utility. Now let's see how to decrypt the log files. Enter the names of the DEMS host. Select the associated environment from the list. Browse to the location of the log folder and click select folder. The log files section displays the log files under the selected log folder. You can also see the log symbol on the encrypted files. This means these files are encrypted. Double click an encrypted log file to decrypt it. If you do not have the permission to decrypt the log files, this message appears. Therefore, ensure that you have the privilege to decrypt the log files. If you have the privilege to decrypt the log files, the file gets decrypted and opens in a readable format. You can also export the decrypted log files to your desired location. Click Export. Choose the location where you want to store the file and click Save. You can see that the file is saved in the desired location. You can also search for a log file in the selected log folder by using this search option. You can also search for a specific information within a log file using this search option. For more information on encrypting and decrypting the log files, refer to the Information Center. Thank you for watching this video.